So I recently, well, not recently, I did a video a while ago about if you want to be a PA, you should kind of look at this first because, and kind of rethink what you want to do because ultimately um, we are kind of at a precipice where we are just at the cusp of being oversaturated. And someone made a comment and they were like, ah, the PA profession isn't oversaturated. The nursing profession is oversaturated. And I'm like, okay like let me like address this because uh working in the hospital system i'm seeing this to not quite be the case so let me tell you what i've seen and maybe like some things that can be adjusted uh, and let's help like dispel and kind of clear up this narrative of the nursing uh career being oversaturated so let's get into the video right now What's up you guys, this is Adana, welcome back to my channel. So I know I typically make like PA related videos and this is still a PA related video because I work like hand in hand with my nurses. Um, and I love my nurses, I, I, I love them all. I love y'all on the seventh floor. <laughs> I love all my nurses. But at the same time, I just wanted to really address this statement uh, because we tend to like kind of push these narratives uh, and you know, we don't always know what we're talking about. So um, I had gotten that comment and then uh, immediately the next day it was like, God was like, here Donna, here is uh, your next video. And I was like, oh birds are chirping and everything because ultimately um, I got I read an article that stated that the nursing market specifically in um, the state that they were talking about was Maryland but they mentioned all across uh, the nation is actually at a shortage okay uh, it's not oversaturated it's at a shortage um, and so I wanted to talk about like what I've seen in my particular like hospital system and in the hospitals around me where I work and then how I can absolutely see that this statement of the shortage and the crisis to be true. So obviously maybe like pre pandemic, this whole narrative of the nursing profession is oversaturated would have been a thing but ultimately post pandemic like this is not the case uh because people are like wisening up and they're understanding their worth and you know they're putting themselves in their mental health first make sure you do that um because at the end of the day if you like not to be like super morbid or anything but if you go out you have an accident you drop down you die like what's gonna happen? Like they're gonna keep it moving and they're gonna find somebody to fill your spot. And people are realizing more and more how disposable like these different health systems um, treat them and how unappreciated um, they are made to feel. And because of that, they're saying, you know what, enough is enough. And so ultimately um, what we're seeing is that there is a, a 5,000 nurse shortage in the state of Maryland, uh, registered nurses, and then a 4,000 nurse shortage in terms of licensed practical nurses, LPNs in the state of Maryland. So overall, like about 9,000, <laughs> they're short 9,000 nurses that they need, okay? So if you're looking for a job, you're a new grad nurse, come to Maryland because they need nurses, all right? Like that's just something that you can look at, but this is across the nation. People are searching for nurses, they need nurses, uh, but part of the issue is why are the nurses leaving and why can't they keep them? And these are the things that need to be addressed ultimately, okay? Healthcare is difficult and like, post pandemic healthcare and how we like take care of people how we streamline like elective surgeries and things of that nature has made things even more difficult so ultimately lots of healthcare workers including nurses are overworked and underpaid and so because nurses are overworked and underpaid they're saying you know what i'm going to leave this job and go find a travel job where I will be underworked in a sense. You know, I would work less than I'm expected to work at my staff job and I will be overpaid in a sense, but not really, you're kind of just paid your worth um, to actually do this job that I do love doing. Uh, so ultimately they're making that that exodus. You're seeing this, 
this vicious cycle though, where we'll get like a streamline of new grads come in. Uh, they will realize like, hey, this is not what I signed up for. It's actually a lot more work than I expected. Um, this is not what I was taught in terms of how things are supposed to be done. Like there are various different things. And then they're like, you know what, I'm leaving. And then the staff nurses are relied upon more to pick up the slack and they're like, you know what, I'm leaving because I'm unappreciated here. Um, you're expecting me to do more, but you don't want to give me a raise or you don't want to give me overtime or whatever the case may be. So I'm leaving. And then you're left with these vacancies of staff and new staff. So it's ultimately this vicious cycle. Uh, so some of the things that I, I've seen like being thrown out that needs to be addressed is obviously that that better work, work-life balance, you know, like give these nurses a better work schedule. Like my schedule, you guys, is amazing. I love it. I would not leave it for the for the world. I get to spend time with my family. I get to actually rejuvenate after I've spent 24 hours just being in battle because it is difficult. You're like seeing people at their worst some of these people um and you know you're kind of in the trenches with them like going through like all right you know you're explaining hey this is your injury and sometimes it's like devastating news sometimes you know they'll never walk again sometimes it's a matter of like oh man you were so blessed you lucked out uh but it's ultimately a battle and after that battle i get to go home and i get to unplug and i get to rejuvenate but that's not always the case for everybody so give these nurses a better work-life balance a better work schedule that's one thing another thing is just incentivizing coming to work and being a staff nurse or staff like healthcare worker and you know committed to the hospital and the hospital system uh because you have nurses that have been there for years and and techs like ct techs and x-ray techs that have been there for decades and they're leaving because it's like you don't want to pay me you know but i can go here and i can get paid more um so show your staff that you're appreciate it you appreciate them and incentivize ultimately like coming in to work because you if you're able to get the pipeline in terms of you have a new grad and you're able to fix that where they are actually wanting to stay this shortage can be alleviated so fix that incentivize things get that pipeline together and then also you know as easy it may as it may seem to like come off roll off of my tongue it might not be as easy to get done but really and truly when it comes to like licensing and certifications um you know it's it's really important that we're able to standardize it in such a way where those individuals, those nurses who have gotten degrees outside of the country can come in and either take a test or show somehow like where they don't have to go through a whole bunch of things, um, you know, jump through a whole bunch of hoops to show that they are knowledgeable. There needs to be a better way to actually get these people like licensed um, and get their credentials to work. And, and that's like in every, in every healthcare system, like, career i guess you could say um so that we can s stop that because that's another barrier when people come from other countries and they're unable to work in the field that they studied in because maybe they can't show or prove or whatever the case may be uh that they are adequate okay so just a couple things you know pay people what they worth all right kind of create a better pipeline system um and you know incentivize people to come in and ultimately kind of make it a little bit easier but i just wanted to touch on that i'll leave the link to the article that i saw the articles that i read actually on this nursing shortage specifically in the state of maryland but again you can see this across all nations if you guys have any other comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below um as you see i do read your comments i do get like inspiration for them so please do that follow me on instagram and on the pa and on instagram i get that scene University, where we help you not only get into but through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!